Hey and welcome to video number 9 of my Grafana workshop. This video is about Grafana and using Microsoft SQL directly as data source. This is a new feature sneaked in in version 5.1. It can be used to build beautiful tables and graphs based on Microsoft SQL. All the links can be found in the details below this video. Normally I try to collect all my data with Telegraph service or a helping script hand. But if you have an existing database, it is not necessary to grab the data through a SQL query, normalize the data and push it back to an Influx database and create double data. For this video, I use a Microsoft SQL database from Veeam. In larger installations over 100 VMs, I install a Microsoft SQL database for Veeam. Connect to the SQL server and start the SQL Server Manager Studio and browse to the Veeam database. All the job informations I need for my dashboard are in this database. I want to create a table view on my dashboard where I can see all my latest VM backup status and the statistics of each VM. In detail, I want to see if the job was successful, what was the processing rate per VM and what is the stored size in the backup folder. To achieve this, the first step is to create a database connector in Grafana. Open the configuration tab, select data sources and click add data source. Enter the name of the connector. This should include the type of database, the application and the version of the application. Select type MS SQL Server. And if your Grafana hosting server is not DNS enabled, please use at host the IP address, colon, the SQL port 1433. Select the database name. I switch over to MS SQL Server Studio and the database name for Veeam is Veeam Backup. Adding the username, but be careful of the user rights. Grafana does not check if your query will destroy or delete any kind of data in your SQL server. The SQL user should only have read writes or restricted permissions on the SQL database. Click Save and Test. The next step is we need an SQL query for our dashboard and our first panel. For a good understanding, open the SQL Server Manager Studio and create a new query for testing. Create or paste the query, run the query. After you have the expected result, we can transfer it to the Grafana table panel. Create a new dashboard or add a table panel to an existing dashboard. Click Edit, select Metrics, select your new created data source and paste the query. Sort the results by creation time. Next step is to put all the numbers into their correct formats. Switch over to column style and click add. Select apply to columns named. Choose stored size. This is in bytes. And under type, choose the unit to data and bytes. You can change the column style for every column in your table. For a better view, switch over to options and unmark the scroll feature. Select 15 rows per page and reduce the font size to 90%. That is the result of my SQL dashboard. Thank you for watching my video about Grafana and SQL on earlyadapter.me. If you like my content and video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.